Good morning, modern scatters. morning I was hoping to transplant our tomato plants into a bigger soil block and try out our large soil block maker but I was out feeding the pigs early this morning and I went man that's right they got their hut all torn apart and then it's supposed to rain today I checked our weather app and it's calling for like three tenths of an inch of rain later on so I think today we need to repair the pig hut we need to go take some measurements and then we can get ready for that repair. Good morning. So I fed the pigs some leftover food that we had already this morning. And I want to save the grain for when we're in there working on the tarp. Because if we don't have food for them, they're going to be bugging us, knocking us over, and we can't have that. So I'm going to go in real quick, take a few measurements. I'll show you what I want to do. They want the grain. You're going to have to wait. So I want to pull the tarp back up and over. And then I'm going to get some boards and sandwich the tarp in between two boards. But the pigs, they just want to play with you while you're out here. So that's why we got to save the feed for when they're here. I want to just double check this measurement and we'll go cut some boards. All right, 50. Let's go get some boards made. We'll be back and then you can have your grain. Have some scrap boards left over right here that I think will probably work nicely. These are some leftover boards from when we formed up our concrete desktop that we built this last winter. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that video right here. Let's see how long they are. All right, they're 58. This is one of the things I love having our new DeWalt tools for, is doing quick little projects like this. I don't have to set up my chop saw or pull out an extension cord to get my other circular saw going. Grab some screws. I better grab the right bit because that's not fun when you get all the way out to where you're ready to work and you have the wrong bit in your drill. I don't think there's anything worse when you get outside to where you're finally going and you either have the wrong size bit for your screws or your battery's dead. Huh. Luckily we got all those things taken care of. Alright, hopefully the grain will keep them content while we fix their shelter. I don't think we're going to have that much time. I don't think it's going to take them long to eat all that grain. So, we got to work fast. The chickens want some of the pig feed. I bet you the pigs would fight you for it. All right, let's see how we can do this. It's what I didn't want to happen.
I need to go run in the house and get three longer screws for this side. It's tacked in place, but it's not gonna stay. The screws I was using, for some reason on this side, aren't long enough. All right, I found three screws that are just a half inch longer. What we need. There, I'm glad we got that fixed before it started to rain. That would not be a fun project to be doing in the rain. It would be a muddy mess for the pigs and us. That should keep the rain off them nicely. Awesome, we made it in time. How's that grain? Is that good? Yeah. I don't know if you can believe it or not, but we already need to make some more mayo. So I need to make another little batch. We're gonna do one egg, three quarters of a cup of oil. I'll bring you over, I'll show you. We're gonna do it right in a small mason jar. It's gonna be good. We've been having a lot of modern steaders asking about this maple syrup infused mayonnaise recipe. So if you'd like us to put a recipe on our website, we need this video to get a thousand thumbs up and then I'll write up a recipe. But I'm gonna go over it real quick right here. We got a wide mouth mason jar, one pasture raised egg, vinegar, lemon juice. We use avocado oil, our own homemade maple syrup, or home boiled maple syrup I should say, and then a little bit of Himalayan salt. I'm gonna use the whole egg I'm going to pour in our oil on top of the egg. A little bit of vinegar. Some lemon juice. I almost forgot the mustard. A pinch of salt. And then we're going to be using our maple syrup to sweeten it and give it that nice flavor. You're going to need an immersion blender for this part. You want to make sure you get the immersion blender right over the egg yolk. Just like that, it's ready. Well, we can't say it's ready until we've tried it. But that's nice and thick. See how thick that is? Yes. It smells delicious. Oh, it's even better than the first time. This time I used raw apple cider vinegar instead of white vinegar. Man, that's good. Ah, oh, that maple syrup and the apple cider vinegar. That's delicious. Man, did you hear that? That's my belly growling. Oh, wow. One of the good benefits of using the immersion blender in a wide mouth mason jar is this is your mess. Boom, you have nothing to clean up other than the immersion blender blade. Stick it in the dishwasher. Get a plastic lid, put it in the refrigerator, now we're ready to go. This will store in our fridge for up to seven days. If it lasts that long, it doesn't last that long. Not for us, we've been making our homemade bread and using some homemade mayo for our sandwiches for lunch this past week. It's been delicious. 
we're ready for the next week. I know we were kind of all over the place this morning with our video. We're fixing our pig shelter, now we're making mayo, but that's why we modern homestead. We do this so we can have the best food possible for our family. Whether that's growing and raising our own livestock for food, growing and raising our own vegetables, using food that we buy from the store, and just learning how to cook amazing, delicious, delicious, amazing, delicious, delicious, no, amazing, delicious dishes with it. Try saying that. Boy, that's a tongue twister. We live in northern New Hampshire, so we are in growing zone 4B. We don't have the best growing season here for vegetables, so or a lot of different things. So I don't have a problem with buying stuff, but I just love cooking good, amazing, healthy, nourishing food. To me, that's what it's all about. That's why we do this. If you're new to the channel, now's a great opportunity to subscribe. You never know what we're gonna be doing or what we're gonna be cooking up here at Lumna Acres. While you're down there, turn on notifications and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and cooking. Yeah, I like that. Bye.